Hello, hello. Hello, Julia. Peter, how are you? Fine. How was your day? A little busy. Went to the airport. I uh, get out 6 p.m., so a little tired, but I'm here. Finally here. Okay. So you left the airport at 6 p.m.? That's correct, 6 p.m. Okay. Uh, the Ilopango Airport. Exactly, Ilopango. Oscar, my coworker, our classmate, is at Comalapa Airport, but I don't know if... Um, if uh, she has, she got a ship today. Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah, because he different the schedule. Right, because he was working. No, he wasn't working yesterday, was he? No, because he has he had the interview <laughs> yesterday, so uh, he was not working. Okay. Yeah, I remember that he had a a dark bar background um, in yesterday's class. So apparently he was in his house. Yeah. I in think. Yep. Okay. And, and you work from Monday through Friday. <coughs> no. I know I don't have an admin, administrative schedule. I have an operative schedule sometime. For example, tomorrow uh, I have a, it's my day another day off and I have a shift uh, Sunday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. again. Okay. It's not always the same. It's not that it doesn't mean that I'm going to have a, a Saturday off all the time. No, no, no. It's an administrative, it's an operative. Uh, okay, so, so it it's not. Every 14 days. Okay, so it's not administrative. It's it's operative. Exactly. Okay. And it changes every 14 days. Okay, so every two weeks you have a different schedule. Exactly. Sometimes it feels like weird when, uh, for example, for Holy Week or for Holy, Holy Week, or August, or that you see all the people on vacations, and you are in, in my case, I'm in the tower, and I'm like, I'm like, mm. <laughs> mm. you're but like, sometimes, 
feels good to have a, a, a day off on a Wednesday, for, for, for example. Right, right. Yeah. That's it's, it's good. all in your mind. Yeah, exactly. It's all completely all in your mind. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I mean, a, a day a day off is a day off. I, I, even if it's a weekday, a weekend, you know, your body gets to rest anyways. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And I rest more than uh, normal people. I mean, in 14 days, I have to go to the, to the airport nine days. For example, okay. in 14 days, a normal people working from Monday to Friday goes goes uh, 10 days and rest for it. In my case, I, I, I go nine days and I rest five days. I get uh, one uh, more day off. Okay. Yeah, in some cases, people work from Monday through Saturday. You know, it's even more. Yeah, 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 it, it's true, it's true. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's just to, it's a thing to get used to it. Right, right. Yeah, you know, humans, we get used to almost every change that comes to our lives. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Oscar, how are you? Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm here. <laughs> Resting. I'm <still> alive. <laughs> Yeah, this is my day off, my day off. Okay. Get over it. Uh -huh. Just get over it. Okay. <laughs> now, is your schedule uh, similar to Julia's, that it's not administrative, it's operative? It's operative, but the difference is that we give a 24-hour service. Right. And they, and they give a 16-hour service. Yeah, from six to six. No, twelve hours service. Ah, twelve. From six to six. I, I thought was yeah. from six to ten to ten p.m. Sometimes to ten when my boss tells like, okay, stay to until ten p.m. for just to give service to the military people. It's not all the time. I see. Okay. Okay, twelve hours. Twelve hours is okay. Okay, so so you work also with the Air Force, Julia? No, not exactly. We provide uh, the service, service to for them. the Air Force people, but it it, not, it doesn't mean that I I am working for the Air Force. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Good. Well, it's a, it's a service that we provide. Okay. Yeah, because you know your jobs, uh, Julia and Oscar. You know, it, it's not common to say, "Oh, I work in the airport tower." You know, it's 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 just very few people. Yeah, we are like. How many we are, Oscar? Like 40, 45, I'm not sure. Alive, I mean, or, or, or yeah, how many working. Yeah, Maybe 50, 50. 50. Yeah, 50, uh -huh, like 50 maybe. people. Okay. Uh -huh, if it, that's few, I mean. Yeah, it's very we few. We have just two, we just have two airports and the, and the economy doesn't grow so fast. I mean, right. it's a small economy, so. Right. Uh -huh, that's that's why there's no other place to go. I mean, to be a controller, you have to work at SEPA. Only, right, right, and right. And you will work only on those two airports. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. this yeah. is my first time that I meet uh, someone uh -huh. that works in, in the tower, you know. So, <laughs> it, like I said, it's not common. Not. Yeah, it's not, it's it's not, not common. Right. It's good. No. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, okay. But I wish the payment will be the way it will be higher. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. We we all expect the the same uh, in uh -huh. terms of salaries. All right. Okay. Uh -huh. So welcome back. What is today's date? Today is uh, November six, two thousand and twenty. No. Yes, November six, two thousand and twenty. So next thing you know, November will be gone too. And we'll be in December. Yep. Okay, so uh, do you guys remember the topics we discussed yesterday? Uh, I like the last part when you explain us how to say, for example, in Spanish, si yo hubiera, si uh -huh. yo estado, something like that. I, right. I, I like the part. Okay. That, yeah, we have, in my case, I have a lot of doubts and uh, I think that I'm stuck in that part. 
Right. How do you say si usted fuera más puntual? If you were more punctual? Exactly. If you were more punctual. Because when you're using the second conditional, it is mandatory that, um, that you use the structure of the simple past tense. So if you were more punctual, were is the past tense of are. So if you were more punctual, if you were more responsible, todos estaríamos mejor. How will you say that one? If you, if you were more responsible, we will, we will we be, be better. We would be better. We would be, be, be better. Remember that would or could are the two models that we use to express things that are not true when you're speaking. So when you say, if you were more responsible, if you were more punctual, that means that the person is not responsible, <laughs> the person is not punctual. So that's why you're, you're saying we would or we could. So that's, that's how you use it, okay? Any questions or comments? We have more exercises related to that topic today. Um, any questions or comments? So far, so good. Okay, so let me show you the, um, where is this? It's right here. Okay, can you see uh, the knowledge check? Okay, can you see? Yes. It? Okay. Yes, yes. Sure. All right. So we have exercises. Like the first one says, um, read the four sentences aloud. Imagine Sam gets an invitation. So the first one says, which sentences mean that Sam will go? Is it A, B, C, D? Is it a combination? So which mm -hmm. ones do you think are... So which sentences mean that Sam will go? A, B, C. One more time. Maybe. A, B, C. Yes, A, B, C. So Sam would go if he was invited. Él iría si fuera invitado. Sam wouldn't go unless he was invited. Él no iría al menos que lo invitaran. Letter C, Sam would go only if he was invited. Él iría solamente si lo invitaran. And letter D, Sam wouldn't go even if he was invited. Él no iría inclusive si lo invitaran. So basically, the first three uh, answers are saying that he will go. Is it clear? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, we have the, the second one. Which sentence uh, means that Sam will not go? Letter D. Just letter D. Letter D. So Sam wouldn't go even if he was invited. Yes. Okay. Uh, any questions about this exercise? No, teacher. No? Okay. So now we go to the next one. It's a listening activity. Mm -hmm. So after we listen to this audio, there are some questions for you. So I will put everybody on silence so we don't have any interruptions. So just... Uh, Pay attention to the audio. And here we go. Finders keepers. Can you hear it? Yes. Kind of tough. Okay, the, it's coming weak. The transmission is coming weak. Okay. Can you turn up the volume? Okay, sure. Okay, check now. <clears throat> Finders keepers. 
Listen to Aaron and Leanne talk about finding something. Can you hear it? The teacher played it again at the beginning last uh, week, like stop. Okay. Finders keepers. Listen to Aaron and Leanne talking about finding something. Can you hear it now? Uh, it's becoming it's becoming like uh, louder, but played it. I think okay. that we can hear it. Okay. Or, or let me see. I I might have. I clearly hear you. Okay, so you can clearly hear it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let, let, let me check this option here. Finders keepers. Listen to Aaron and Leah. Can you hear it? Um, yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. And talking about finding something. Are these statements true or false? Or does the person not say? Check the correct answer. One, Aaron. I was with my son at the supermarket. He was about eight years old at the time. And he found a wallet on the floor. Inside it was a hundred dollar bill. A hundred dollars. He picked it up and got all excited. In fact, neither of us could really believe it. He started talking about all the things he would buy. Right away, I told him that we couldn't keep it. He seemed disappointed at first. We started asking people if they had lost anything. After asking around for a while, we hadn't found anyone. And I was beginning to think we'd asked everyone. But then, as we were walking to the front of the store, I noticed a man, actually my son noticed him, pacing back and forth, shaking his head and muttering something. I thought it was probably his wallet, so we asked him, and it was. My son felt better when he saw how relieved the man was about getting his money back. That was our good deed for the day, and the man gave my son $10 as a reward for returning the wallet. Okay, can you paraphrase what he said? <clears throat> What's the story? Anybody? The children found a wallet. Okay, the and child found a wallet. Uh -huh. Yes. And the wallet had $100. Okay. At the beginning, the, the, the kids, the, the boys, didn't back to, to wallet. Okay. But the, and, and he, and he uh, thinking about what could be buy with this $100. But the father uh, told, told him uh, he want to, he, 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 he came back the wallet. Okay. And at the beginning, at, at, uh, uh, soon uh, the, the boy, uh, came back the wallet and the person give a boy a, a, a reward and say thank you. Okay, what was the reward? Why? What was the reward that the little boy received? Um, Anybody uh, else? What was the reward the child received? regarding okay but there were one hundred dollars in the wallet how much did the man give to the little kid who remembers the pay him one hundred dollar I think okay but the guy as a way of saying thank you he gave them uh, he gave him uh, ten dollars oh, oh, ten dollar yeah okay so let's let's check the um, let me see it's right here. Okay, uh, so can you see the, the the first question? Aaron's son wanted to keep the wallet and spend the money. True or false? 
True. Okay. Aaron's son received a thank you card as a reward. Did he receive a thank you card um, as a reward? False. False, okay. The owner of the, no, that is, that is the, the, the other audio. So let, let me finish playing the second one. Here we go. Two, Leanne. I was on a train from Washington to New York last month when I found a book lying under my seat. It was so strange. It was just a little book, not an expensive one. It was probably only worth a few dollars. Well, I really wanted to read it. It was pretty interesting, and by the end of the trip, I was still reading it. So, I decided to keep it. I took it home and finished it. Now, every time I see it on my bookshelf, I wonder if I should have taken it or not. I mean, do you think I should have returned it to the train conductor? Who knows? Like I said, it wasn't a very expensive book, so I didn't really feel guilty about taking it. Okay, uh, another volunteer to paraphrase what she said. Anybody? Somebody, anybody? Jose? Sorry, but I can uh, hear well. Okay. okay. The audio is, is too low and, and your voice, teacher, is, is too high. I mean, we have to... Turn up the volume, and then when you speak, I have we have to. We, oh, I mean, um, okay, okay. Let let. let the, we have I kind thought of I was the only one, but no, it's just too weak. Yeah, and you know, and that is the maximum of the volume that I have with the with the computer. Okay, was anybody able to understand what what uh what the the woman was saying? Something about some books, something like that, but I didn't get uh, all the all the conversation. Okay. It's a, the, the woman found a, a book and it was in, in a trip by train. She started to, to read it. Uh, she she were interested to read it and she kept the book and she finally read all the book and she and Okay. So she read the book. She kept the book. Okay, now do, did you hear the part where she asks herself something every time that she looks at the book in her uh, bookshelf? So she says, you know, every time I see the book in the bookshelf, I ask myself uh, if I should have returned it, if I should have kept the book. So she's using past models, uh, uh, structures okay so any questions about the audio i'm sorry but uh uh that's the maximum that i have in, in my computer so but I'll, I'll i'll try to work on that all right so uh okay so that was the listening part now we go with the speaking section let me see this here where was that document? <coughs> In a second. Can you see the document opening? Yes. Okay, what is the topic? Food. Food, exactly. Favorite topic. Okay, now everybody eats food, so everybody should have an opinion about this topic. Let me find this here. Mm -hmm. So you can take a screenshot from, from what you're seeing right now. If not, I can, I'm sending it to, uh, To the WhatsApp chat. So let me make these groups. Uh -huh. uh, 
Ajá. Open all rooms. By the way, thank you for being present today. <laughs> You're welcome. Botas. ¿A qué horas? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's a pleasure. I'm I like, totally I like agree. It a lot. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But I avoid to to eat sugar, for example. But it's ah. a it's a, my everyday fight to eat to avoid sugar. But I admit it, I'm totally addicted to to sugar. <laughs> okay, but you mm. you don't drink any so, uh, Coke or soda? No, for example, I love uh, the cakes, like ah. sweet bread, sweet bread cakes. I don't like, I don't need Coca Cola. I don't remember the last time when I, that I drunk oh. Coca Cola. In what is my lunch? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I know that there are people who. My lunch, I am thinking in my breakfast and the dinner. So I'm trying sometimes in the for the next day. <laughs> yes, I know that there are some people who is like that. I don't get it. I don't get it. As I told you, food is only a, a source of energy for me. I, uh, my, uh, I cook in my food. Ah, do you cook? Uh, yeah, I need to, to think about because if I need to get out some food, Three days. No, one day. One Four day. day. <laughs> only one day. One day, only one day. Okay. <laughs> How are you? Me, uh, me, um, I believe uh, only the uh, the afternoon or only the morning. <laughs> because, I because only one time. Uh, I one meal. see. I. Because I will have a day, have, uh, I will uh, take consomme, but uh, I do this and my mother uh, recovered the, the health fast. Oh. 
it, it, it's, it's for, for when the person is sick, it's good. But the other thing, uh, I hate that. So you're talking about soups? Uh, yes. Uh, I said uh, the iguana. I, I hate iguana. Okay. I don't, I don't like it. But uh, Joseph told me uh, when the people this sick have a sick, have a, a lot of vitamin. Yeah, and vitamins. I, vitamins. And I, and I talking and, and I. You tell him? About, uh, yes, I, I, tell, I tell him uh, when my mother was sick many years ago. I do it. Uh, uh, I, uh, I I can remember very well if it was iguana or garbobo, uh -huh. and I, and I do uh, concentrate like like uh, I, I don't know how do you say uh, el concentrado. Stock. Uh, I stock, and when she drunk drunk, uh, she recovered she the health. Yeah, yeah, she felt Good. better. Good, good. That's good, you know, when because food is not only food, but it can also serve as medicine. Yes. Good. It's good. it's like a it's like a concerte of pichon. Okay. A, a little birds. Bird, birds. Uh, yeah, bird. Uh huh. Bird, bird. Uh huh. You uh, you do the concentrate and you do those do a person who's sick. And he or she recovered the health fast. Very good. Nice.
Wow, that, that's nice. I just drank today, for example, one liter and a half. It's not too much, but I drink water at, when I wake up. It, I, I feel that sensation in, in my tongue. I need water. Yes. No, me too. But uh, uh, I almost three or uh, something when I have to go outside, I need more water, maybe three or four liters. <laughs> yeah, especially if you're working, if you, if you are like uh, walking, making things yeah. at the street. Yeah. Yes, I, I need another one. Exactly. Uh -huh. That's a good, good point. Okay, the number five, do you have to watch what you eat? Yeah. In my case, yeah. I need to, to keep surveillance or to, to keep inside or to take care of uh, the things I'm eating. I don't have, I don't have, I don't know how to say, I don't have vesicula. So I try to avoid uh, like grass. Sim, semillas or what? No, like oils, like grass, uh, grasses, like oils. Fat. I don't like, I don't like the things that are cooked in in uh, like bo like fried, for, for example, French fries or empanadas. That things that need uh, a lot of oil to be cooked. Yes, I don't like the, the empanadas too, no, but I love the the pastel. I don't know. Really? I, no, I don't. My, my, only my favorite, uh, maybe break, no, lunch is yeah. like chicken. Like chicken. chicken. <laughs> what, yes, what part chicken. of the chicken is your favorite? Oh, uh, breast. No, 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 breast, no. How do you say uh, quadril? Uh, tight. Tight. Tight, yes. Tight. Ah, okay. I, I prefer the breast, the chicken breast. It's delicious. Oh, oh yes, I, I think that a lot of people prefer breast. Yeah, it, it's the part that has the biggest amount of meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes. I know, I know, I know. So but, the chicken breast is good. Yes, but the 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 thigh is it, it's it has more flavor um, for me. Yeah, you know, that that's why, you know, like everybody has different kind of taste because yes. in, in my case, the tight is like, is that all you have? So if that's the only part that they have, I eat it, but I, but I will never choose a tight as my first option. Yes, I, I get I get that. <laughs> yeah, and, and some people don't like the breast. They say, no, I don't like the breast, you know. Yes, I don't. I don't like the breast because I, I think that it has a lot of meat. Uh-huh. And it has no flavor. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's true. All right, good. Yes, it's very delicious. The, the, the Italian food. I like the Chinese food. Chinese, okay. Chinese food. Chinese. I, I like uh, Oriental food. I mean, many. I mean, Japanese, Vietnamese, Chinese. Oriental <laughs> food is, like... is good for me. I don't like the, how do you say, anca de rana? Oh, the, the, the frog. A, frog. Frog. Fro, frog legs. I think you say frog legs. Frog like legs. Oh, really? Yeah, frog legs. I, frog legs. I don't like the frog legs. <laughs> Have you ever tasted I, the frog legs? I haven't. Yes, I, I, yes, I taste. I, uh, when, when as a um, when a teenager. And where were you here in El Salvador? Yes, in the Salvador. What? Uh, what do you say? Vomitar. A vomit. <laughs> yes. I don't know. I don't know uh, that that you, I you didn't know that was a the, the anchor the the frog legs. Okay. You, you know what? Once I I was eating like uh, I ate uh, the the whole frog. I mean, not the legs, but the whole frog. It it, it was like a guisado, but I don't know how to say boiled or stew. In, in sauce. Stew. Ah, huh? stew. Yeah, stew. 
Stew I frogs. Ate, uh huh. Uh, stew frog. And uh, what's okay? It tasted like a uh, pollo guisado. <laughs> it tastes like. Was it here in El Salvador? No, no, in Taiwan. Oh, Taiwan. Uh huh. Oh. It was like a like a like a chicken stew. Okay. But I prefer the the frogs. I prefer well the deep fried. Deep fried is good. Okay. Because it has the taste like a chicken, and then you can you can place on um, how to say the the to make it crispy like the like the oh, I'm talking fried chicken or, or fried tempero. Uh, it's a uh -huh. empanizado. Uh huh. Breaded. Bread, okay. Bread. You can make Bread. a breaded frog. It's, it's good. <laughs> Bread. And what were you doing in Asia? Was it uh, a work or a pleasure? Um, was this, uh, it was a internship. Internship. Okay. We 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 went from here. Um, I mean, the, the Ministry of Economy gave us the chance. So oh. I did. I did take an, it, in a company. Good. The internship. It's but good. I, I haven't done anything about that. I mean, I don't know why did did I they, they chose you. Why did I win? <laughs> who, who, who chose me? They were like, hey, why me? You know, like no, I would I, I would love to go to Asia. No, 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 but I will I would like to know if if if, if I'm gonna use it, the, the knowledge that I got in there, I haven't used it. I'm okay. Using, I, I speak a little Chinese, I mean the basic stuff. Right. But, I haven't used it. I mean, I don't know. No, it's, it's kind of. And how many weird. days were you there? One year. One year. One year. Uh -huh. My goodness. That's, One year. That's it. Ah, because people <laughs> usually was, go for like three or four weeks, but a year. My goodness. A year. Yeah. Was, yeah. What year? Nice. What year was it? Yeah, two thousand, two thousand, two thousand one. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's nice that you know Asia. Uh -huh. it's, it's okay. Good, good, nice. Hello, 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 hello. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I I have low battery, and oh, I put oh. I put my my laptop in church. <laughs> oh, okay. So you connect uh, to the class from a laptop computer? Uh, sometimes. Okay. And you, Jose, how do you connect to the class? With a laptop too. Okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, uh, some, yeah, go sometimes ahead. when I when I didn't connect is because I don't have a sign up or or the internet fall down. Okay. Where where are you in this moment, Jesus? It's raining. Uh, are you in San Salvador or where? No, I'm in Santa Tecla. Oh. I'm in Santa Tecla. Okay. Uh, and, and now it's it's raining. Is it raining hard? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. but but not but no. Uh, it's a different storm because other 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 days is uh, with a con trueno y rayo storm. Yeah. Thunder, lightning. Thunder, uh -huh. Lightning. Yeah. No. Now only raining. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Santa Tecla, you know, still has that touch because when I go to San Salvador every morning, you know, Los Chorros, Lourdes, it's normal. But um, with this Eta rain, when I get to Los to Santa Tecla, it's 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 raining and you can feel the change of of temperature. So it's still good. Yes. Yep. Yes. 
All right. It's, 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 it's really freeze. It's, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's fresh. It's cold. Cold, cold. Yeah, mm -hmm. cold. Okay. All yeah. right. Let's go back to the main session. <laughs> okay. Great. Thank you. All right, all right. Welcome back. Um, any questions or comments about the questionnaire you guys were discussing? No? Teacher, how do you say it? Um, aprovechar, como hay que aprovechar para comer. Okay, you have to take advantage. Take advantage. Like that, advantage? Yeah. Yeah, so take advantage means Tome ventaja, but it also means aprovechar. Ah, oh, okay. Well, yeah, we have to take advantage. Remember, we only live once. You know, yeah. you know, at the beginning of the of the emergency, I lost almost. You know, I, I was I was taking my medicine and everything, but I was losing weight, so I lost like twenty five pounds. Right, that was like at the beginning of the emergency. Now it's been like, uh, I don't know, how many months? Six months? No more. It's March. Eight months. Eight months. Eight months. March, June, July, August. Yeah, like October. eight months. So I yeah. got my weight back plus <laughs> some extra pounds. So, you know, it's like it, it, I'm not doing <laughs> any physical activity, you know. <laughs> so, uh you know, my wife, she makes fun of, of my shirts. I said, look, those shirts, they look small on you. And they do. <laughs> you know, I got my weight back. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Any questions or comments about the uh, questionnaire? No? Okay. So let's do our last exercise that is related with the um, second conditional. We were talking about yesterday so if i'm not mistaken this is the paper <laughs> loading loading have you guys been having uh internet problems in your house or in your company they yeah. say no, no, not today. No, okay. All right, can you see the document that I'm sharing? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. So uh, here we have four different exercises that you need to change them into the second conditional. So letter A is an example for you. If I come to each training session, we be prepared for the match. So you transfer that information to the second conditional. It says, if I came to each training session, we will be prepared for the match. If I came to each training session, how do you say that one in Spanish? Si yo asistiera a todas las sesiones yeah. de entrenamiento, si yo asistiera, preparado exactly. para el partido. Exactly. So si yo asistiera, si yo viniera, so... That's exactly what you guys need to do with exercises from letter um, B to letter E. Let me send you this image. If not, you can take a screenshot here. Recreate, recreate, all right. I'm going to send this person here and the rest stay the same. So here we go. If I came, if I went, if you were more honest, if you didn't have a car, if I lived in another country, so it's loading. Fíjate que las veces ah. 
Uh, I, 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 I see the group, the, the sentences. Okay. So, uh, maybe the letter B is if we, if we were prepared for the match, ah, yes, we, we need. Okay, how do you say, podríamos ganarlo? If we, we could win it. We, we could would, win it. Okay, we could we win would. it or we would. So you can say, podríamos ganarlo o lo ganaríamos. So we could win it or we would win it. So the two options are good. Are good. Yeah, mm, they make okay. sense. The two options make sense. Okay. The next one, the literacy, maybe is... I would get a scholarship. Uh -huh. If I... If I would uh, get this scholarship, I would go to the college of my dreams. Uh, letter E. Go ahead. Okay. If I if I go go to the college of my dream, I got the best job ever. Uh huh. I will get. I will get. Cool. Okay, now remember, usually when we're talking about the second conditional, the if clause is the part that goes with the simple past tense. Oh, okay. So like, that's why, you know, the first example, if I came, so from uh -huh. go, you go to came. So just like the first example, the if clause is usually in the simple past form. Uh -huh. Okay. Yep. For example, in letter E, if I went to the college of Madrid, I would get the best job exactly, ever. Exactly, exactly. So remember, the if clause is always with a, uh, with a simple past form. And then the complement, you could use um, would or could. The two options are good. Okay. Yep. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, all right. To the college of my dream. If I went. Uh, if I if I went. Yeah. To the color to the college of my dream. I guess the best job ever. I would get or I could get. Okay, I could get. Okay. I could get. Yep. Okay. A course or I'm not sure about it. But now sounds like easy, but it's different when you're talking. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but not not, not sure about it. Yes. Hello, teacher. We we just oh, finished. Teacher? Okay. Any questions or comments uh, with that exercise? Uh, no, we were saying that uh, it's easier when you write it. You, when you yeah. have t time to think it, but when you're speaking, it's a, it's totally a mess. Yeah. 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 You know, and there is that, that, that is a big difference when you when you compare spoken English with written English. Like you said, when mm -hmm. you're writing, you you have time on your side. You make mistakes, you fix it, and and, it, and, and nothing happened. Now, when you're speaking, if you make a mistake, you made a mistake. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> people have solved your, your, your mistake. So, yeah, but, you know, like this is a topic that uh, people use in, in everyday life. Yes, but I yeah, think that... Even in Spanish, it's so common to, to, to say that kind of things. Exactly. You know, Rita, exactly. Even in Spanish. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's the same with your native language. English. Right. Because when you are writing, for example, an email, you can think about that and you can rewrite it. If you are writing for your boss, for example, right. you can be like really polite and everything. 
But exactly. when you are talking, it's like you can you can mess up. Right, right. <laughs> you and, don't and, even notice. Right, and that's why you have to practice as much as possible. So how do you say, si yo no trabajara aquí? If I if wouldn't I work here. If I didn't work here. If I didn't work here. <laughs> if I didn't work here, estaría en México. How would you say that? I would be in Mexico. Yeah, simple. So remember, whether your information is positive or negative, you always have to use the simple past form um, to express uh, those ideas. Oh. Yep. All right, so yeah, let's go back you. to the main session. Okay, okay. thank you, teacher. All right, welcome back. Uh, any questions about the second conditional class? How do you say, si yo no viviera aquí cerca? If I didn't live. So if near, okay, near if here. I didn't live near here, tomaría taxi. I will, take, I will a take a taxi. Taxi. Right. How do you say, si yo viviera cerca? If I live here. If I lived here, if I lived near here, te daría right. I could be. I would give you a ride or I, I would give, give you a ride. So remember, ride. When, when, when you're using the if clause, you must use the, the structure of the simple past. The complement of the exercise can be with could or with would. All right, um, okay. so it's nine o'clock already. Thank you very much for making the space this Friday night. And uh, I'll be seeing you on Monday, same place, same time. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice Thank weekend. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.